This is a quick video, just to, so I couldn't find one on YouTube, of the Whistle Millwalk 13880D. Um, I had this bike delivered a couple of days ago. Couldn't find any videos on YouTube, so I thought I'll just do a quick one now. Just to give you a brief idea of what the bike actually looks like. Um, as you can see, it's 27 speed, it's hydrofoil light tubing. I don't know if I can get that to show up on the video. No. Um, the seat post is quite good, micro adjustable as you can see through there, and there's marks on the back which you can't see at the moment because the back light's on it, and the saddle's quite good as well, so I find it really comfortable, um, it's white one side, green the other with the whistle sign on the back, and then down the other side you've got the Nike speaker set on the back, the gears look really smart. Front neck, three on the front. There's the shifters. Uh, moving on to the headset, head stop. Let me put the bike back properly. Looks quite smart as well. It's a zoom one, um, oversized, which I find quite comfortable. Some lights on the front. Whistle sign, Shimano hydraulic brakes, these take mineral oil, and then the shifters, They're quite smart. And then you have this uh, remote switch which um, operates the lock, the suspension, so you can lock it out when you're on road and off road. Um, the only downside to that is when you come back on road after you've been off you have to get yourself off the bike lift yourself off before you can lock the suspension up again otherwise you end up with it locked in down position uh, front forks there's an adjuster on the top there and then you've got the whistle sign the disc brakes all Shimano it's a really nice bike really easy to ride as well I've just done 30 mile ride on this and just get ready for a, have a shower. The tyres are really smart and the wheels. That's the front one. 26 inch wheels. And they've got quick release on them. It just looks like that. And then the pedals. Um, I don't quite understand why they've got this ridge on them. I find them actually uncomfortable unless they're on the wide side. On the lower stem you've got uh, a bit of graphic work, paint in there, and the whistle sign underneath there, a bit of there. It's actually very, very well built. I was quite surprised. And then you've got your back disc brake. Too close for this photo, probably. And then the rear wheel. And that's about it really, I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of it, show you what it's like.